y'all talk about going into this game of about not not wasting that, but I guess from from the big win over Memphis and, and not losing you know, what momentum y'all gained from that that victory. That was Coach Crean's message from the night we beat Memphis to the the morning walkthrough today was do not let the Memphis win affect how we come into this game. We're going on one game winning streaks every single game. Um, and that's our mindset. We're not going to overlook anybody. We're not going to underlook anybody. Um, we go into every game with a, with a purpose to win. And I think that's what we did tonight. Yeah, Jackson, kind of a uh, kind of an odd time. I think you guys got like 11 days off. Uh, I assume you probably have some final exams and stuff like that. But um, what's that what's that feel like? I mean, uh, um, what would would obviously you'll work some, but I mean, uh, I mean, what's your thought for that period of time? Um, my thought is to get better. You know, I mean, we we got a lot of work on. Um, one being the offensive rebounded fourteen times, and we had three offensive rebounds. I mean, there are a lot of things we need to get better at. You know, um, and I think this little time period of finals. Is going to help us in the in the long run, you know, deep in the SEC play. I think this 11 games will be a deciding factor. You know, how hard we go, the level of intensity of our practices will determine how we do in the later in the season. Okay, Thanks. next we're going to go to Drew Beal and then Lance McCurley. Hey, Jackson. Uh, Jalen went down with around 14 minutes left to play tonight, and obviously we're wishing the best for him. Yeah. But can you talk a little bit about how the rest of your teammates responded in the absence of one of the starters and leaders on this team? You know, I'll just talk about Jalen. This dude is one of the most respected human beings I've ever met, ever hung around. He is a, just a walking lead, a walking, you know, showing of what the right thing to do is. I mean, he's just a, a guy you look up to, and everyone responded when he went down. I mean, it, it didn't look good. You know, those uh, non-contact injuries never look good. Uh, God, my thoughts and prayers are with him and his family tonight. Um, but the guys really, really responded. You know, we, we got a big hole to fill, you know, tonight. And my thoughts and prayers are with him. God, uh, sorry. Hmm. Yeah, the guys responded really well. Sorry. Hey, Jackson, what were kind of some of those things that you guys have cleaned up in practice and kind of made it more intense? Obviously, the turnovers uh, tonight in the first half weren't a problem a little bit in the second, but you guys kind of came out shooting fast. Uh, and I think you had damn near 50% from the field. Just kind of talk about that. Uh, we watched a lot of film, you know, film of, you know, what this guy's doing, what this guy's doing what not to do a lot of, honestly. Um, and like I said, last time I was doing this, like a lot of this game is so much more mental than it is physical. You know, the turnovers are so much more mental. Like there were, there were times today where we played, we had really high IQ basketball plays that just weren't executed. And, you know, that's a turnover that we can live with that it won't be a turnover in the future. And so I think we got a lot better. And we also, handled ball pressure a lot better. You know, we worked on ball pressure. We worked on handling ball pressure. The the guards and, you know, Coach Linehan and Coach Mason did an excellent job of working with the guards on handling pressure, handling traps, stuff like that. And, you know, guys like Jalen Ingram led those kind of drills. And so we'll, uh, you know, we'll see moving forward, but, uh, Thoughts and prayers with him. Okay, we're going to finish off with Cole Acock. Yeah, Jackson, there were several points in the second half where Jacksonville cut the lead to single digits, but you guys were able to just kind of maintain that a lead like by double digits for most of the second half. So just kind of talk about how the team was able to kind of keep the lead um, and just kind of maintain that lead comfortably in the second half, not letting them get back into it. I think we did a really good job of moving the ball against their zone, starting off with Aaron Cook, you know, coming off a of, coming off a of sickness. He came in and distributed the ball really well. You know, we found gaps in the zone and Braylon Bridges did a great job of holding seals in the zone, which creates even more double gaps. 
So um, we did a good job starting just with ball movement. Um, and I also told the guys, I said in, in one of our huddles, we can't go bucket for bucket. We have to get stops. And once we started getting stops, the, you know, the, the scoring margin got more. I mean, if that makes sense. So uh, we couldn't go bucket for bucket. We had to get stops. And fortunately, when they did hit a bucket, we hit a big bucket like Jabri in the corner, you know, dump down to Braylon who, you know, finished. So I think we did a really good job against the zone. Okay. Thanks, Jack.